According to the CDC, mental illness is among the most common health conditions in the United States, and it impacts women and men. The CDC data shows that males make up 50% of the U.S. population, but 80% of suicides. I want to give men the freedom to be themselves. Licensed mental health counselor Mike Evers says he's noticed some men are apprehensive to seek out a mental health professional when they need it. A lot of men feel like they just kind of need to solve their issues alone, figure it out themselves. Evers says social stigmas relating to masculinity contribute to men's hesitancy. This vulnerability is um, kind of viewed as not masculine, not being a man and to have deep emotions seems to not coincide in our societal views. He believes these stigmas can be traced back to messages taught to boys in their early childhood years. Those messages we can get, oh, you're too sensitive, or don't be a baby, stop crying, uh, or get over it. If any guy played sports, you may have heard, just push through it, no pain, no gain. But then when we apply messages like that in other areas of life where they don't work, then we have that stigma of, I need to just push through it, I need to solve this by myself. Instead, ever suggests messages of emotional reassurance be taught to boys when they're young. I think one of the best things that we can do for little boys is to normalize what they're feeling. For them to hear, I get scared too. I sometimes feel hurt when I don't get invited to parties. And to open that conversation. This way, boys can build positive mental health practices to use as they get older. To see vulnerability as a strength, as something that uh, requires courage and bravery, and not a sign of weakness. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Los Angeles.